Well, hello, welcome again to our reading of Homer. We're reading Odyssey Book 7. And getting towards the end, we got up to, I got up to line 298. So, um, Alkinoos then replied to him um, again. Or perhaps just then here. So Alcanoas then replied to him and furnace in with the uh, aorist with no augment, and he said, Sen e toimen tuto gen aisimon uk en no aisi pais eme. Huneka su timet amphipoloisi gunaixi, egen es hemeteron. Sudara protein hikatusas. Now Odysseus has just been complimenting uh, um, Alcinous on the wisdom and good forethought of his daughter. Uh, Alcinous somewhat uh, challenges this. We get this these particles here, so it's. Uh, it's sort of a rhetorical question, it's not a question here really, but it's something like, surely, uh, on in respect of this um, matter, which is enicimon, which is fitting or appropriate or proper, so surely in this matter, which is proper, she, uh, my daughter did not, uh, well, give consideration for in a not a c huneka on account of which so because uh, she did not lead you in any way into our understand house along with the servant women or perhaps her attendant women and you Accordingly, you supplicated her understood first. Ton uh, dama, ton dapa me bominos, proserfe polumetos Odysseus. And replying to him, wily Odysseus said, Heros me moi tunic emumona naikie kurein. Uh, Amen gam ekelue sun amphipoloisi hepestai. O hero, now we get an uh, imperative here, uh, ne kee, do not be angry, so may do not be angry. Uh, now the huneke is for tohuneke or tohuneke, for this reason, on account of this. It's not going with the moi. The moi is what's ca sometimes called an ethic dative. It's sort of, if you please. So do not, if you please, on account of this, become angry with your literally blameless daughter. Uh, a moon is a funny word. I often translate it as noble rather than blameless because it really has more to do with one's status rather than one's moral behaviour. Yeah, the word is used, after all, of Aegisthus, who was hardly uh, a pinnacle of morality, but he was from high status. So I think it's probably wise sometimes to translate this as noble. Um, for she uh, bid me, Hepestai from Hepamai, to follow along with the attendants, the servant women. Uh, al ego uk ethelon desas ais gunominos te me pos kai soi thumos episcusaiti idonti. But I was not willing, desas participle, um, having been feared, so being in fear and being well ashamed, perhaps almost embarrassed, uh, may lest perchance the soul or your heart for you, Idonti agrees with that, for you looking on, 
uh, might become annoyed or angry. This the verb here is episkuzdemai, um, so it might be irritated or annoyed or angry. Dus celoi ga temen epikthoni fulanthropon. For um, now this is uh, um, the first person plural from the verb to be. So we, the tribe of men, the race of men, the, the uh, tribe of men upon the earth, we are dus tseloi. Uh, the tse here apparently is connected with tseo to boil. So we're quick to anger, perhaps short-tempered, touchy, something like that for this dus tseloi. Tondaut al kinoos amabe ameb ap amebato phoneesente, and al kinoos replied again to him and said, it's the same line we had before. Xen umoi to uton episte this in philon care mapsidios ke kolostai. Ameno daisimapanta. O stranger, um, now the subject here I think is um, my dear heart. Philon can simply mean my, my personal one. It's not you can't always translate it as dear, but um, it's literally my dear heart or just my heart. Uh, in my breast is not such, and it's an epic dative. So is not such as to suddenly become angry. Uh, so, I'm, in other words, I'm not quick to lose my temper. It's not so as to become angry. Uh, sorry, Mapsidios uh, is in, in vain, I should say, not quickly, but Mapsidios in vain. So, my heart in my breast is not such as in vain to become angry. Ameno de Isimapanta, all things uh, in moderation, very um, uh, typical later Greek concept, so uh, fair, good measure in all things, but things which are balanced in all respects are ameno. This is um, from amenon, it's the generally the comparative from um, Agathos. And so this is the comparative better. The normal form is amain on a. The nu disappears. We get an o plus an alpha contracts to give you the o. So uh, all um, good balance or fair measure in all things is better. Ega du kai te parte kai athenai oi kai apollon. Now you can see from the, at least from this form and this form, that these are in uh, vocatives. So it's, oh, by father's use and Athena and Apollo. Now, agar means would that, and it normally takes an octative, but we're going to get a change of construction here. So, oh, by, by oh, father's use and Athena and Apollo, uh, would that... Um, now it's you being such as you are this is the second person singular from the verb to be so being such as you are uh, and thinking the things which in fact I also think so being such as you are and having thoughts that match up with mine would that, now instead of getting an optative here, we get an infinitive. In fact, we're going to get two of them. Echomen is the infinitive from echo. So, would that you might have, i.e. in marriage, my daughter, and be called, passive, uh, my gambros, my son-in-law, uh, althimenon, remaining here. So, probably best to take that first. So, would that remaining here... You might take my daughter as a wife, and you might be called my son-in-law. Oikon de ego kaiktemata doyen. And I would give, 
this is uh, an optative here from Didomi, I would give, understand to you, a house and katameter possessions, if willingly, in fact, you would remain. So I'll get another optative with care here. So if willingly, in fact, you would remain, a ekon to dese utis eruxe. For no one will detain from Eruko, this is the future from Eruko, for no one will detain you, a ekonta, unwillingly. You get an alpha privative plus that hekon root of willing. In later Greek, the epsilon gets taken up with the alpha and you just get akon. Uh, but here it's uncontracted, so no one will um, will detain you against your will. So no one phi akon of the phi akians. May tuto philon di patrigenoito. Lest um, this thing, um, oh, sorry, may this thing not be dear to father's use. So we get may genoito, like that famous phrase of St. Paul, may genoito, may it not be. So may this not be dear to Father's use. Pompein des tod ego type atek myramai offre eo edes arion s. Uh, so I might break it there. This is little bit tricky here I thought so I will now tech my remark here is to a, a point I think so I will appoint um, an Pompeian escort s Todd and I think we have to supply Amar here the word neuter word for day so on that day I will appoint an escort so that you might know well uh, and the ace is uh, is for uh, for this as here. Notice the accent on there, meaning it's going back with the previous word. So he's saying more explicitly uh, tomorrow. So he's saying um, uh, on the on that day, but not saying which day. Um, uh, I will appoint an escort. Understand for you, so that you might know well. Uh, in fact, it will be on the morrow, so tomorrow. Temos desu men ded me menos hupno lexii hoi de elo osi gelenein of an hikai patrida sen kai doma kai e putoi philonestin e pekai mala polin hekastero est you boyes ten per te lotato fas emini hoimin idon to la on hemeteron hoti texanthon radomanthon egon epopsomenon tituon gay eon huion. That's a long uh, passage there. Um, so Kavos, it's something like meanwhile, but it's it has the sense here of um, all the while. So while you're being transferred across, while you're being escorted, so it's sort of during that time you, uh, Lexi, you will uh, lie down, um, bound by sleep. But they, that is the people right uh, in charge of the ship. El loosi is the present from the verb el lao, which is uh, an epic form for el launo. Uh, so, with a range of meanings, perhaps drive forward. Delane um, is a word for calm. So we've got a, a, a so a calm sea. So they will drive forth, perhaps on the calm sea. Uh, Ofra, uh, Ofra Arn, so that you might come. This is the second person from Hypnaemai. So that you might come, or perhaps could be until you might come for Ofra uh, to your fatherland and your house, or uh, 
if there is perchance anything dear toy for you so in other words we'll take you to your fatherland your ancestral land and your house or anywhere else that you care to go to apekaimalapolon uh, even if uh, it is much further now I think that's from that hekas the hekas root here of far and it's a comparative even if it is much further than the comparative genitive here you beer which in fact they say uh, to be the tailotato the the most far away thing um, now who are they they who um, of our people saw it so um, so it's even if those of our people who saw it say it to be the furthest place uh, when Aegon they carried so they took fair-haired Radamanthus Epopsominon uh, intending to visit so uh, visiting Titus, the son, literally the, the Gaian son, so the son of the earth. And again, we get some kind of uh, mythology here just referred to obliquely and not explained at all, except to say that Radamanthus wanted to go very to go and visit uh, Titus, and the Phaeacians took him on a very long journey that went all the way to Euboea, which for them was the farthest they'd ever been before. Kai men hoi aelthon, kai arte kamatoio telesan, emati to auto, kai epanusan oi kodi opiso. You Eudeces de Caiautos eni fresin hosin aristai, neus emi kai kuroi anaritain hala pedo. And uh, indeed, they came there, and arte plus the genitive, apart from, or so without the use of. Um, now, uh, so without l l labor here, uh, without exerting themselves, I think it must be, they completed, they fulfilled the journey understood on that very day. And Ap Anusan, well, it's very similar, um, similar thing here, uh, very similar word possibly translated um, by they fulfilled the voyage if we supply a plume or something here uh, so without effort they completed it on that very same day and they finished the journey uh, opiso back to home so if you supply plume here they they did the return journey back home I think it's the sense of it here uh, but you yourself will sleep. Uh, sorry, sorry, not sleep. So you yourself will know in Fresi in your mind. Hosson probably for Hotty that my ships are the best, and my the Kuroi the young men are also are, understand are the best at Anna Riptain. Uh, it, it toss from ripto is to hurl up so to tossing up the hala well li literally salt but it's used of the sea so tossing up the sea pedo uh, with their oar blade uh, you may have come across pedalion as a later word uh, so with the oar blade so they're the best my ships are the best you will come to know in your mind that my ships are the best and my young men uh, understand the best at tossing up the sea with their oar blade. 
and that's the that's enough for this particular section.